Welcome to 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast where we summarize important writings on education and learning. I'm your host, Daniel Bowe, and in today's episode, we'll be discussing how to implement the technique of communicating high expectations for reluctant learners, inspired by Dr. Robert Marzano's book, The New Art and Science of Teaching. This technique is essential for creating an inclusive and supportive classroom environment. So let's dive in. Chapter 10 of The New Art and Science of Teaching focuses on communicating high expectations for reluctant learners. The chapter begins by acknowledging that while all students should be valued and respected, teachers often do not use typical instructional strategies as rigorously or completely with reluctant learners as they do with other students. The chapter then outlines the desired mental states and processes for high expectations which include helping students feel valued and respected and ensuring that they do not hesitate to interact with the teacher or their peers. The chapter emphasizes the importance of identifying pre-existing differences in student expectations and treating all students equally. To do this, the teacher identifies the expectation level for each student by imagining that each student has completed a comprehensive assessment that covers some of the more difficult content addressed in class. On a class list, the teacher writes the level at which he or she expects the student to perform on such an assessment, high, average, or low. The teacher also tracks his or her behavior for several days to increase awareness of differences in effective tone and quality of interaction with specific students. Using an informal observation form, the teacher keeps track of his or her effective tone and interactive quality with specific students. The teacher uses eye contact, smiling, proximity, hand and body gestures, physical contact, and playful dialogue to communicate value and respect for all students. If the teacher recognizes different treatment for reluctant learners, the teacher makes comments to those who offer them. The teacher also thanks each student who asks a question or provides an answer, even if the answer is incorrect. The chapter also emphasizes the importance of providing appropriate wait time after asking a question and appropriate pause time between student answers to allow all students adequate time to process information and formulate responses. The teacher ensures that all students have equal opportunities to respond by calling on any student instead of only selecting those who raise their hands. The teacher also keeps track of which students have answered or been asked questions, perhaps by placing a check mark on his or her class chart next to the student names. The chapter provides several strategies for communicating high expectations for reluctant learners, including nonverbal and verbal cues, providing scaffolding for students' answers, and providing encouragement to reluctant learners. When the strategies in this element produce the desired effects, teachers will observe the following behaviors in students. Students say the teacher expects everyone to participate, and students say the teachers ask difficult questions of everyone. The chapter also emphasizes the importance of interacting with reluctant learners in a rigorous manner when they respond incorrectly to a question. The same deference should be paid to reluctant students as is paid to high expectancy students. The chapter provides several strategies for probing incorrect answers with reluctant learners, including using an appropriate response process, letting students off the hook temporarily, and using answer revision. The chapter concludes by emphasizing the importance of enhanced awareness on the teacher's part regarding their expectations for students and the possible negative consequences. Communicating high expectations for all students means the teachers must be aware of the fact that they have different expectations and thus engage in different treatment of students. The chapter also notes that planning to communicate high expectations means focusing on those students for whom the teacher and others have, wittingly or unwittingly, communicated low expectations. This type of planning might lead the teacher to identify and examine his or her biases and the manner in which he or she treats students differently. On a daily basis, the teacher plans and engages in explicit behaviors to ensure that reluctant learners receive messages that their thinking is valued and they are expected to perform at high levels. Overall, Chapter 10 of The New Art and Science of Teaching provides practical strategies for communicating high expectations for reluctant learners. The chapter emphasizes the importance of treating all students equally 
and providing scaffolding and encouragement to reluctant learners. The chapter also emphasizes the importance of interacting with reluctant learners in a rigorous manner when they respond incorrectly to a question. By following the strategies outlined in this chapter, teachers can help all students feel valued and respected and ensure that they do not hesitate to interact with the teacher or their peers. That's all for today's episode of 5-Minute Chapters. We discussed the implementation of communicating high expectations for reluctant learners inspired by Dr. Robert Marzano's work. Stay tuned for more episodes where we bring you concise summaries of educational writings. Remember, even teachers need cliff notes sometimes. <laughs>